Moving on to high school, Flag High Wrestling has been a team worth looking at. Sports reporter Hannah Ware has a story about one of their competitors, Zach Collins. Competing in the 145 pound bracket and making it to the 2021 state championships, Flagstaff High School senior Zach Collins has been dedicated to the sport he loves the most, wrestling. His father, Mike Collins, says that the love for wrestling is generational. Uh, definitely my whole family. Uh, I wrestled as his dad and then my brothers and uh, cousins. So our whole family uh, grew up here at Flag High Wrestling and were heavily involved in so were Zach's uh, brothers and, and sisters just in the house. So we, we've always wrestled ever since he was born. The program started to lose its way not too long ago. Mike says it's all thanks to Coach Scott Newberger for bringing the sport back. You know, the program was strong, but over the years, we started to lose our wrestling program. And luckily, through the dedication of Scott, they came in and they helped build this program over the last three years to give these kids a place where they could come and wrestle. Coach Scott says this sport has a special place in his heart and was happy to share it with the younger athletes. The entire sport of wrestling is uh, one of the greatest gifts I've ever been given in my life. I'm very thankful to be a part of uh, helping to coach some of the, the younger athletes and especially Zach for the last several years and, and continuing in the future. Zach is a well-rounded student who is the only athlete in his class to wrestle all four years and worked hard for a high GPA. He plans to attend ASU where he wants to pursue engineering. He made his schoolwork with this full ride scholarship look easy. You know, having five children, everybody's unique. And uh, Zach, with his drive and, and how he works on things, made it all look real easy. He is the last of the Collins children to wrestle and move forward to bigger and better things. His mother, Renee Collins, says he doesn't need others to notice the good work in order to be self-assured. The fact that he can be proud of himself. He's done all this hard work and he didn't have to prove it to anybody. He can show up and just be extremely proud of himself. He is someone who excels in all aspects of his life, but he gives thanks to his family and his coach. I put it all out there as much as I could, and I just, once again, am so thankful for everything that wrestling has given me, so the opportunity is what really matters. When he graduates from Flag High, his mother instilled values that she doesn't want him to lose track of. Something that I want Zach to carry on throughout his life is how important he is and how worthy he is and respect and love other people. It's not just Zach's parents who are proud, but Coach Newberger says he is happy to have worked with such an amazing student. There's a lot that actually sets Zach apart. He is one of the most dedicated wrestlers I've ever had. Every day he's in the room given 100%, and above that he's actually pushing everybody else in the room to do better as well. He is someone who excels in all aspects of his life, but he gives thanks to his family and his coach. Just a shout out to everybody that's helped me through these four years. Uh, all my coaches, my parents, my family. I couldn't have done anything without all of them. Collins is a four-year varsity letterman who has a full scholarship to Arizona State University. He plans to study engineering and is someone who prides himself not only in athletics, but in the classroom as well. Flag High Wrestling has a deeper meaning to Collins as most of his family wrestled there as well. It's awesome to see Zach get a chance to compete as much as he can and carry on the family name. Being the youngest of five certainly must bring out the competitive nature in him. We wish him luck in his future at ASU. Circling back to college sports, the spring football season has gotten underway with some mild hiccups. While the season started out with a bang for the Lumberjacks, it has taken a quick turn south. Chad, what has been going on with NU football so far in this weird season? Back-to-back -back losses for the Lumberjacks after a thrilling opening game win for Southern Utah has NEU sitting at 1-2 and two so far this season. As a 20-point underdog at Weber State this past Saturday, the Lumberjacks were two seconds away from pulling the upset. A Hill Mary for the Wildcats shocked NEU in the closing seconds to come away with a 28-23 win over the Lumberjacks. The young NEU defense has struggled this season, allowing just over 35 points per game. On the other side of the ball, Redshirt senior quarterback Keandre Wu Ti has been a bright spot for the Lumberjacks in his first season as a starter. Wu Ti is averaging 180 passing yards per game and has three total touchdowns through the team's first three games. Due to a cancellation of the season by Cal Poly's football program, NAU is unable to bounce back this weekend. A tough stretch for the Lumberjacks isn't ideal, but it will certainly build the team's character. 
With Cal Poly opting out of the remainder of the spring season, NAU will go yet another week without playing football. They will have their next scheduled game on Saturday, April 10th, in Cedar City, Utah, where they will take on the U Southern Utah Thunderbirds in a rematch of their first game, and to see who will hold on to the Grand Canyon Trophy. Don't go anywhere yet. We'll be right back with Weekend Reporter Evan McNeilia, who gives us a look at what's coming up in Northern Arizona sports.